Hi Taurus, it's Tuesday. I'm going to do your bonus reading. This is for Taurus and then Rising Venus. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you're new, I do give away free readings randomly to subscribers through the comments. So I hope you'll stick around, hit like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, tap the bell, etc. etc. So it's general, cannot resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates. Please don't force it. Don't be offended. Please, if I say you, if I'm talking about deception or dishonesty and I say you, it, if it's not you, it's not you. It's either the other person or it's somebody else watching. Um, and there's no judgment here anyway. Also, be sure to check your other signs if it doesn't resonate. You know, because your moon rising, Venus signs, those are different aspects of your life. And even if this does resonate, you should check those signs, right? Roles can be reversed. They can intermingle, flip-flop around, and it's not gender-specific. What happened? Nine of Swords. Ouch. I feel a happy ending, though, somehow. Nine of Swords. So, air energy. You be, could be dealing with the Libra. Don't have to. Could be um, Gemini, Aquarius, too. I'm feeling Libra. But... Um, you know, what happened? Nine of Swords, pain, wounded. Current mutual energy, Page of Cups, communication. I always think of the Page of Cups as like sweet messages, text. I think of it as text. On their mind, Three of Pentacles. Cooperating, working together. Collaboration. Uh, how they view you, Queen of Cups, somebody somebody who has a lot of love. The Queen of Cups can show that love. Um, she can be overly emotional, though. If, you know, she's hurt or disappointed, she also can turn up, shut down that love. But I like the Queen of Cups. Deep in their emotions, Four of Cups. This is my... Um, I don't know, it's kind of different in this deck. It's, you know, it's kind of like she, I mean, I guess it's, it, it's not action. It's a lot of thinking, thinking about love, maybe dwelling. Not sure what to do, maybe. How they see moving forward, King of Swords. That's somebody who's truthful, honest. He can cut things out. He's wise. Mental energy, a lot of mental energy. Hidden factors, judgment. Could be a marriage. I mean, judgment is also can be reconciliation. Five of Swords, conflict, mental anguish. Don't worry, I think we're gonna be okay here. I still feel a good ending. Um, the Hermit card, Virgo energy, this is somebody who has gone within. So there's a lot of mental energy here. You know, the Hermit is, you know, somebody who's, got, see, you know, he's, it's learning, you know, it's inner wisdom. So that's the outcome. That's a good good card for the outcome, actually. Justice. This is, I'm going to do a clarifying ride. This is Justice, Libra, and Energy. Things being fair. Strength, Leo, Energy. Self-control, Balance. These are two Balance cards. And the Tower... Wow, okay, so Eight of Wands, communication <clears throat> is at the bottom of the deck. But then we also have Eight of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is all about being stable on your own, right? Being able to, you know, having that, that confidence of, um, I can, you know, I can be okay without you if I have to, you know? The Eight of Pentacles is the energy of being able to 
be self-sufficient and not rely on someone else and it's you know came up with the communication here we have the eight of swords look at this card she look at the difference between the mirror image and the reality so it's like a mental you know mental trap mental anguish and it revolves around being not needy and communication all right let's start clarifying we're going to see if any flyers come out of this deck and then we'll move to i don't know we might move to another deck we might not okay let's see nine of swords what is this nine of swords and what happened nine of swords what's the nine of swords uh I do feel like you're dealing with an air sign. The Emperor or an Aries. The Emperor's husband, that's all about self-control, being stable. And look at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Swords. Hmm. Two of Swords is about being blocked. So that's what happened. I mean, you're, they obviously they cut off communication. But they want to communicate now. I'm not sure why they're not. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on with this page of cups? Temperance. Holding back. So they're holding back from communicating. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card, which is all about cycles, lessons, healing. Three of pentacles. What's the three of pentacles? Why do I feel like you guys, are you guys, uh, not even. I do feel soulmate energy here, but there's some strong energy here, uh, here about, you know, being okay on your own, maybe com communication, uh, tempering your communication. <clears throat> it's the three of pentacles. King of Cups. See, we do have a soulmate. <clears throat> so, King and Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles. King of Cups. King of Cups is someone... So, so this is laying out perfectly. So, we have Nine of Swords, you know, very wounded. Um, because you, obviously, somebody pulled back or, you know, there was a block. There's some sort of standstill block. Um we have the emperor here which is somebody you know somebody that i think that's your person aries energy but it's somebody you know that you look up to somebody stable and strong we have mutual energy is wanting to communicate but holding back and then we have it on their mind king of cups the king of cups is someone who has a lot of love feels a lot of love but they don't always show it we have the queen of cups I feel like, um, so you've been more expressive with your love than they have, and that might be calling, causing an imbalance. Mm, I, there's something else I feel, I'm just not sure. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen, King of Wands, Leo energy. That's somebody who can, you know, is all about action. I am feeling the Empress. Oh, five of Cups. Trying to come out. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the Justice card. What's the Justice card? Six of Pentacles. Again, even equal reciprocity. So it's just like I was saying, it hasn't been equal. You've been showing more love than they have. 
you both want to communicate. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. There, I think there's a marriage. When I say marriage, it could just be a you know a very serious you know um, committed relationship. Could that could include that? Okay, the Chariot. Forward motion. <clears throat> Let me put it back because I wasn't asking a question. Let's clarify this. But again, it there's a want and there's a big want on both your parts to communicate, but your your person doesn't show his emotion like you do. And for some reason, I don't know, it's like they're hanging on to pain. What's the Queen of Cups, please? Come on. Let's see if we can get something to fly out. So there's heartbreak surrounding a beginning that's stable, or there's another party. Hmm. Your person could be married or they're hanging on to the pain of the past. Because I, I do feel like there's a really strong connection here. Like I said, I, I feel the Empress. Um... But that's what's holding them back. I mean, they're they're afraid. They're you know the thought of a, a stable new beginning. Uh, you know, fear. They have fear of it. They have fear of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What's the four cups? The full card, Aries energy. So the full card is about taking a chance, you know, a new start, the beginning. And that's what looks like that somebody missed out on that or is not making, is not making that happen because, I mean, the fool is letting go of baggage. I feel like there's some baggage that's not being able to let go here. Let's see what this King of Swords is. King of Swords. And there's something else I keep wanting to say, but I can't, I'm not getting it real clearly. It's like... It's almost like... Are you being too loyal? Are you are you not? Are you if they've walked away or blocked this, then you know what you should do, the best thing for you to do is to move on, you know, go out with other people right away. You know, if this is, if you're single, but I feel like you're, there's like, you're stuck in this energy of, of no, you don't want to do that because you want to prove to them how loyal you are or how much you love them. That's not, that's not a good idea because, um, what you could be doing in that time is, you know, focusing on you, building, hanging on or trying to show I'm not going to move on with my life because that's how loyal I am. That's a, not a healthy energy. It's just not, if that's what you're doing. You know, you, I mean, the energy should be, I love you, and you know, this makes me sad, but I'll respect it, and I'm going to, you know, do what's best for me now. That's going to make you more appealing to come back to, too. But the sooner you get out of that energy and move on, it's staying loyal to someone who's walked away. Let them go. If they have walked away, let them go. Don't try to hang on to someone. Don't try to fix it. If they've walked away, they broke it. So they need to fix it. You know what I mean? Um, 
staying in that energy of, well, I can't move on. I, I love this person. I want this person. That is going to keep you in such a low vibration, you guys. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay. Sorry for my little spiel. Let's move on. King of Swords. I feel like there's you guys are maybe being a little bit too loyal because we'll come to their senses. Great. Let them come to their senses. But you move on with your happy, joyful, other people want to be with you life. Moving forward. Ah. Oh. That's what you need to do. You need to charge forward. If somebody blocked you or left this, let them go. Okay? Doesn't mean they won't come back. I knew it. Look at that. The Empress. There she is. I love it when I can I read the cards or feel the cards before they show. So you know, for some of you, there is a marriage here. <clears throat> for some of you, your person is in a marriage or they are not over the pain from the last marriage. So there's so much mental energy here. Let's look at the strength card. What's the strength card? But we have two, we could have two marriages. We have so we have the what do we have the, obviously the emperor and the empress we have the king and queen of cups <clears throat> so this should be stable but it's not so don't wait for it you know move forward charge ahead you're probably going to meet someone new <clears throat> and that's what you need to do right now get in get you got to keep your your you know your cup of love full because when you let it be empty and you stay in that energy, I mean, that's, that's when you obsess over this that you can't have. You know, get that cup of love. You know, keep that cup of love. You know, don't let it get all the way empty. Get that, get some, fill it up a little bit here from this person or a little bit here from this person or your family or doing what you love to do. But you can't just sit there with it empty going, I wish I could have this person. If they're not in it right now, you shouldn't be in it right now. Keep your love and energy open to them and don't say, you know, don't try to make them jealous, but don't wait. Showing someone, trying to show, prove your loyalty by sitting around waiting for someone is not healthy for you or them. It's just not, it keeps you in a low vibration and it messes with your head. All right, I know we're gonna have a good outcome here, so let's keep going. What's the strength card? I mean, I feel like you guys are just forgetting that. You're forgetting. You're so wrapped up in this person. Nine of Pentacles, see? Independence. Charging forward with independence. Being okay on your own. But why are you struggling with that? Did you forget who you are? Don't forget who you are. You're Taurus. My goodness. You are strong and stable and smart and capable. You don't need one person to fill that cup. Ten of Pentacles. We're going to have, the, okay, so being strong, you might just have to make a, like a, you know, deliberate conscious decision. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to use self-control because I know my value. I know what I want. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Total wish fulfillment. Don't sit around waiting for as I said, wait, waiting, don't sit around waiting. This is the waiting card. Don't sit around waiting for these seeds that you've planted to sprout when somebody's walked away. If they've walked away, let them go. For now, keep your energy open, but let them go. I don't want you more. Um, judgment card, please. There, your person could be reconciling with someone else. And it doesn't mean it's forever, but that may be, I mean, I do feel that, that for some of you. But I still feel a happy ending. <clears throat> What's going on behind the scenes with this judgment card? Yeah, some of you, your person is reconciling with someone else or entertaining it. So see, because we have what's messing with this, this stable new beginning is the three of swords. And for a lot of you, we have two marriages here. Okay, back to judgment. What's the judgment card? <clears throat> Ten of 
too many to take, but we can still read them and put them back. Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, Two of Cups. Right, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I feel like for a lot of you, your person is, is um, talking to their ex or trying to work things out with a spouse. Judgment card, please. Come on. Okay, two more. Page of Pentacles. It's communication. Behind the scenes, communication with the marriage card, reconciliation. <clears throat> Somebody's discussing uh, stability. Six of Swords that's moving into away from strife into calmer waters. What I want one more on that. One more on this judgment card, please. I really think your your main message here is to not prove your loyalty by suffering. I can't be happy without you. You know what I mean? That energy, don't do that. Three of Wands. Again, third party. <clears throat> it's progress. Let's see. What's the Five of Swords? Two more. These aren't jumping out anymore. I, the, when, you, when the cards stop flying, it's like, it's almost like we gave you your message. Four of Pentacles. See? Holding on, not letting go, and you've got the Six of Wands. So there's a lot of energy here about you not letting go of something that you need to, because that's clarifying this. Clarifying the Five of Swords, the pain, the heartache, the, 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 the pain, you know, the conflict. Clarifying it, we got the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Holding on to, why are you suffering? You're holding on to it. You should be not holding on to it and getting this Six of Wands. And you know it, the High Priestess. She's, she's a bad bitch, sorry for my... I never cuss, I know. Sorry for that. But she is. She knows. She's. She, and, and that, I think that's you. She, You know that you need to move on. Sound like a broken record. Let's keep going. We're almost done. So at the end, we have a tower. So I think you guys need to let the tower fall. Tarot's advice. <clears throat> So the four of pentacles that's holding on too tight, not able to let go. There it is again, five of wands. So the hermit is somebody, you know, who, and, and we had the high priestess. So it's all about intuition. And, you know, the five of wands is about conflict. So what's going on with this tower here? I mean, I think you guys need to let the tower fall. And the tower could, maybe the tower already has fallen. And maybe it's just you accepting it. You know, nine of pentacles. So I think this person may come back, but it's not going to happen right away. <clears throat> slow, that's a slow moving card. Nine of cups, self love, clarifying the tower. Self-love, look at that. She's jumping out of a <laughs> treasure chest. So that's your message, guys. I'm going to do a divine door for you. Let's see what the divine door has to say. But your message is, you know, if they, for now, it doesn't have to, I mean, outcomes change, right? But right now, this is not something you need to be holding on to. Deep door for Taurus. Okay. 
Oh, actually, I think I need to get something else here. I need to keep going. So we, so we have the self, you know, the self restraint, the self control, the strength card with the ten of pentacles. And I do feel like when this comes back around, it's going to be more equal. I don't feel like it's been equal. Okay, let's see what else. I really, I just, let me see if something else. I feel like there's something else. What else for Taurus? Thank you. Two of Cups. So that's what's in your future. So doing this, breaking free of it, letting it go, self-love is going to bring you that. Two cups, two people who give, whether it's with this person or not. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was something good coming. And manifestation is at the bottom of the deck. A death, see, a strong message, guys. I'm glad I didn't stop. So... The magician, Aries energy again, but the magician is, you may be manifesting someone new is going to come in. That's what you need to work on. And why? Because when the tower falls and you let something end, something new can begin. Rebirth. I love it. I knew we were missing the ending. And here's the Ten of Wands. Don't let go. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. She's not stopping. Look at this long, hard road she's been on. But the Ten of Wands is about not stopping. Keep going. Don't give up. Practice self-love. Let the tower fall. Let yourself just get over, get through, I don't want to say get over it, but deal with the pain, you know. Let the tower fall. <clears throat> Manifest. You have the ability to manifest. Let it end so you can have a new beginning. Let's do it to the divine door. Real quick. See, aren't these pretty? It's like, which door are you going to go through? I love them. Divine door. <clears throat> this one, oh, look how pretty that one is. This one's wanting to show. So, a moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass. Yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of a, the heart's will. Is that focused? Hope so. Let's see if we get another one. A cure for longing. sums it up. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. That totally just wraps up the whole message. Whoops. Look at the front. There's the door you need to walk through. Let the tower fall. Manifest a new beginning. Don't give up on what you want and what you deserve. All right, Taurus, love you guys. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. And, oh, I also love to hear where you guys are watching from. And, I don't know, you guys are probably going to get another bonus. If, if you don't get another bonus this round, I'm probably going to do your reading first on the next round. So check back, okay? Love you guys. Bye, Taurus.